Did you know you can make a layer automatically animate in and out based on its in and out points, without having to worry about keyframes? In cases where you have a comp with many layers that you want to have various lengths for, this can be a big difference in terms of your workflow and cleanliness of your setup. You can use the linear or ease expressions to animate pretty much any parameter, in this case for example opacity. Linear creates a linear interpolation between the two end states, while ease has, well, ease the interpolation. The expression takes five values, the driving parameter, the driving parameter start and end values, and the output start and end values. So to animate opacity based on layers in and out points, a driving value should be time. The starting time for animation will be the layers in point, the finishing time for animation will be our layers in point, plus let's say 0.5 seconds. And our start and end values for opacity are obviously a 0 and 100. So as our composition will be playing and the time will be counting up, when the time reaches the layers in point time, our animation will start, and it will start at the output starting value of 0, and when it will reach the time of in point plus 0.5 seconds, it will finish off at the specified output value of 100. Now let's create the expression for animation out, and then we'll combine them both. To animate this layer out, we have to go from 100 to 0. Then we want our animation to finish when it reaches the out point, and we want our animation out to start at 0.5 seconds before the out point. So as you can see, when time approaches the end point of our layer, it starts to fade off. So now we can combine these two expressions by using a short conditional statement. If time is less than our layer's in point and out point divided by 2, meaning if the playhead is in the first half of the layer, we want the animation in expression to be active. If it's in the second half of the layer, we want the animation out to be active. So there we go. Now we have a layer that is automatically animating in and out based on its in and out points, no matter how long it is or where it's positioned in the comp. So if we wanted to make some sort of a particle-like setup with many layers like this of different lengths, not having to worry about keyframes makes the setup quite a bit cleaner and easier to work with. Here in another quick example I've used the same expression on a text layer's range animator property. 